Hey everybody, welcome back to the Driveway Engineer. I'm JR. Uh, today, I couldn't bring my truck to the shop, so I brought my shop to the truck with my portable little power generator. I'm using that to run my speaker and my soldering iron, a little fan when I get in the truck. Um, I'll give you guys a quick overview of what I'm doing here. So I got my alternator mounted. I needed these little spacers, which apparently if you have a 130 amp alternator is like a black spacer in this case and then this part's longer. So I'm guessing that I had a 130 amp alternator because I didn't have these spacers. It's been driving me nuts trying to figure out where they went and why I don't have them now. Um, but basically what I'm doing here to run the truck, uh, now that I got my alternator on and my belt on, and yes, that's a junkyard belt with rust on it. Um, I need to wire everything up, and so what I have going on here, because I'm gonna rewire the truck from scratch anyway, is I need to get 12 volts from this post down to this battery, which I'm gonna do with this four gauge cable. Um, then I'm gonna take 12 volts with a 10 gauge wire up here to this distribution block, the factory one on my firewall. Um, I'm going to replace this with a breaker later. I don't have one right now. So for right now, I'm just going to put a distribution block. Then I'm going to take a 10 gauge wire down through the plug that I don't really have quite in there right now. Uh, that I cut for my, uh, drive by wire pedal. I'll take that inside to my fuse box, it's fuse blocks, fuse block, good gravy take that inside of my fuse block and uh, distribute the power from there and for right now I'm using one of these cheesy little Amazon for racing use only switches uh, that guy right there so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, bring 12 volts in right here take it out to my fuse block right there and to the ignition switch back down to the starter um, then my little fuse block will be, let me walk you over here real quick. All the projects to come. Um, oh, this thing from online LED store, I'll bring a uh, 10 gauge feed wire from that junction block into here. And then this will run my, be the, uh, key on hot to my ECM as well as my brake lights which is all that I'm going to wire at the moment the fuel pump and the fan relay are handled by the harness from Jason Richard and my truck's out of gas too so uh yeah that's what I'm working on I'll bring you guys back that's the general idea what I'm gonna do and how I'm going to accomplish it I'll bring you guys back when I have some more of that wrapped up so you can see exactly what that looks like this is like the bare minimum of wiring you need to run a truck or a car or whatever. A toilet, it doesn't matter. Whatever you're LS swapping, th this is gonna be the bare minimum of wiring. So we'll be back when I have it a little more tidy. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Driveway Engineer. I'm JR. Uh, this is like the second part of the same video, so I don't really know why I said welcome back, but whatever. Welcome back. Um, what I've got going on here this again was meant to be a basic overview of just the wires you need to make your vehicle run so coming off my battery up to this post on the alternator i got a four gauge cable and then off that i got 10 gauge wire runs around up to here that i'll replace with a 150 amp breaker later maybe never but let's say i'm gonna do it later for safety's sake um then out of there I got my 12 volt feed into the cab along with every other wire. This is the starter trigger wire. This is my 12 volt constant feed. This is my 12 volt keyed to the PCM. Um, I slip my drive-by wire grommet so that I can pull everything through. It's in two pieces and it's kind of not quite fitting, but I'll make it work. I'm gonna jam that into the firewall, pull everything nice and tight, and then I'll show you what else you need to wire up so that you can just do a simple panel if you want to. Um, eventually I'll come through and I have a couple of fuse panels and I'll use the GM column, my factory column, 
they all wire the same but for right now I'm just gonna use that little panel while I continue to work on this so all right so ignition systems are probably easier than most of you think uh, you see the fat wire up there up against the sound deadening the fat red one that's my 12 volt constant in okay I've tied up all these other speedo tack OBD wires out of the way for now 12 volts in that's constant hot that goes to the bottom of this switch right here okay it's actually gonna go first to the uh, my 12 volt my uh, fuse block okay and I only got one fuse in it so it's only gonna switch the ignition so 12 volts constant in comes here it goes here where it's protected by a 25 amp fuse it comes out it goes into the bottom of this switch okay when you flip the switch up I want it to do a few different things I want it to energize the ECM which is that skinnier red wire there it's actually a purple wire in the harness but I needed to extend it okay and I want it to energize this relay which goes into number four on the back side I'm holding this upside down but so it's going to do to it's going to energize the PCM which is going to start up the fuel pump for the prime um, and enable the coils and all the sensors and it's going to energize this relay for the starter and then on the other side is going to be my starter trigger wire which is that green wire which will trigger the starter to crank over and that is it I, uh, the green wire on here is a ground for the light the red wire is a hot for the light I'll probably just jam it right in there with everything else um, and ground it wherever is convenient probably wherever I ground the uh, OBD port which is my main focus today is I want to get this uh, OBD port hooked up so that I can fire it up check for leaps and do some uh, basic tuning so that's it hopefully that was clear i'll try to put a little diagram up but uh when you get into doing the harness it's it's the same thing like if you want your ignition switch to work i don't even have my keys um if you want your ignition work to work it's the same thing you just got to figure out which wires take constant hot which wires trigger out it, it's not that difficult if you just do it one step at a time so i'll be back when i have this all wired up and we'll cover it one last time so that's it i know it looks like a bunch of miscellaneous garbage and also i use the same color wire seven times but promise me i promise you it's easy 12 volts in on the bottom of the switch 12 volts out on the top number three is your switched in number four is your ignition trigger out uh, la, 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 la. I don't know if you guys heard it, but I heard it. Um, throttle body kicked on. And we have crank. And that's it. That's all you need to make it run. So I'm going to continue working, try to get my uh, OBD port wired up here before the end of the day so I can throw some gas in this thing and uh, get it to run and see what I can log off of it. But that's pretty much it for basic wiring, so I hope that helps. I'll try to put a diagram up. It'll be very childish. I'll have to find my crayons, but whatever. You'll get the point, I hope. So until next time, this is JR. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you.